So, Stephen and Jackie remain in the quiz, and now the pressure is really on them. In this round, I'm going to ask questions back and forth between each contestant in turn. The questions get harder and harder until someone finally cracks and gets one wrong. Wrong answers will cost a life, and our contestants start with only three lives each. Now, Stephen, you were the highest scorer in the last round, so the questions start with you. Let battle commence. We start with a fairly easy question. It's a ten-pointer, Stephen. What completes the title of this Shakespeare play? Antony and... Cleopatra. That's right, yes. So, Jackie gets a thirty-pointer. Which building components are you said to be out on if you are having a spree? On the tiles. Out on the tiles. Absolutely right. Stephen, a sixty-pointer. What is the normal colour of the gemstone sapphire? Blue. Sapphire blue. That's right. Jackie, you get a seventy-pointer, so most people don't know the answer to this. Which is the only country in the Southern Hemisphere to have hosted the Summer Olympics? Australia. Australia is right. You throw back an eighty-pointer to Stephen. In which century was the American Civil War fought? Nineteenth. The nineteenth century is right. Pressure mounting now, Jackie. It's an eighty-five-pointer. The Highland district of Badenoch and Strathspey provided the real-life setting for which TV series? Take the High Road. It was Monarch of the Glen. I'm afraid you lose one life there. The questions stay with you, Jackie, but we go back to a ten-pointer. Which metal completes the expression meaning to deliberately avoid work or malinger? Swing the... Lead. The lead is right. Stephen, it's a 70-pointer, getting tougher. What was the name of Hyacinth Bouquet's son in the TV sitcom Keeping Up Appearances? Is that Onslow? It was, in fact, Sheridan oh. Onslow, I think, was the brother-in-law. Oh. So you also lose a life, two lives remaining for each of you. We stay with you, Stephen, with the questions. It's a ten-pointer. What would you be wearing if you appeared in your birthday suit? Be naked, you'd have nothing on. Nothing on at all, absolutely. Jackie, a thirty-pointer. What is the name of Michael Jackson's ranch near Santa Barbara, California? Neverland. Neverland is right. Stephen, sixty-pointer. What is the name of Kim Wilde's rock singer father? Marty Wilde. Marty Wilde, that's right. Jackie, seventy-pointer. Getting harder now. What are the international vehicle registration letters for a car from the Netherlands? N-E? N-E is wrong, I'm afraid. It's N-L. Oh. Jackie, you're down now to your last life. That means one more wrong answer and you have to leave us. Stephen, you still have two lives. The questions, though, stay with Jackie. A 20-pointer. Ian Duncan Smith was elected leader of which political party in 2001? Conservatives. The Conservatives, yes, indeed. Stephen, a 40-pointer. How was Lawrence Turo, who played B.A. Baracus in the A-Team, better known? Mr. T. Mr. T, that's right. Jackie, you get a 60-pointer. In PM, the abbreviation for afternoon, what does the P stand for? Post. Post, that's right. Stephen, a 70-pointer into the tough ones now. A ball kicked by a footballer that bends or curves is named after which fruit? Banana. Banana, that's right. Jackie, you face an 80-pointer. In area, which is the world's largest ocean? In area, which is the world's largest ocean? Pacific. Pacific is the correct answer. <laughs> you squeeze through there and Stephen faces an 85-pointer. PV equals K, where K is a constant is the equation form of whose law concerning the expansion and compression of a gas at constant temperature? I guess Boyle. You guess right, Boyle's law. That's right. So, Jackie, now, it's a 90-pointer, a really tough one. What was the name of the character played by Marilyn Monroe in the film Some Like It Hot? Again, you have to give me the right answer to stay in the game. The name of the character played by Marilyn Monroe in the film Some Like It Hot. Honey. The name was Sugar Cane. Ah. Oh, you were so close with that one. You were running through the film in your head, I think. Yeah.
So at the end of that, it's Stephen who has triumphed and in a moment will attempt to beat the nation. But uh, never mind, Jackie, because Tim's generosity knows no bounds on these occasions. <laughs> Not usually, but in this case, I think Jackie deserves something. It's time for our fame game challenge. On the screen, you'll see pictures of two housewife superstars, <laughs> Dame Edna Everidge and Christine Hamilton. But for £100, which one could more of the nation identify? In other words, who's more of a household name, Christine or Dame Edna? I think possibly Dame Edna Everidge is more instantly recognised. Well, that could be a good judgement. Let's see. First of all, what percentage of the nation recognise Christine Hamilton from this photograph? We hope it's a low number. Oh, dear. 68 is quite, percent is quite a high number. Let's see what percentage of the nation recognise Dame Edna and make it a nice, big, mighty, possibly high... Yes. Oh, yes, excellent. 86%. Well done. 86% of the nation knew that. Well done, Jackie. You get the £100. Well you. deserved. Thanks for being a very good contestant. Thank you very much. So, it's goodbye to Jackie, but congratulations to Stephen, who is just 90 seconds and 10 correct answers away from winning today's show. That is, if you can beat the nation. And here's how you can do it. As you know by now, your first question is easy. It's one that 90 to 100% of Britain could answer. Get it right, and we move on to a question that between 80 and 90% can answer, and so on. If you get a question wrong, you'll just keep getting questions from the same level until you do get one right. So the questions keep getting harder and harder right up to the last level, where you'll have to answer a question that less than 10% of the nation knows the answer to. Uh, Tim, uh, Stephen's made pretty solid but quiet progress through the game today. He's also got some very tricky ones right. He's got a 10%er already and a 15%er. He knew that in the UK, three teaspoonfuls are equal to one tablespoonful and that PV equals K is Boyle's Law. So, speaking as the good cop, I'm hoping... <laughs> in fact, I'm sure he'll do it. <laughs> right. OK, Stephen, prepare to beat the nation. Uh, your first question is from the simple end of the range. 90 to 100% of people know the answer to this one. And your time starts now. What colour carpet is generally put down for the highly favoured to walk on? Red is right. 80 to 90. Which ancient people built the Sphinx and the pyramids at Giza? Egyptians. The Egyptians did. 70 to 80. In Rudyard Kipling's The Jungle Book, what is the name of the boy raised by wolves? Mowgli. Mowgli is right. 60 to 70. A person feeling on top of the world is said to be cock a uh, Hoop. What? Hoop, right. 50 to 60. In which country is there a region of states that together are known as New England? Uh, the United States. The United States is right, yes. 40 to 50. The Irish national flag is a vertical tricolour of green, white and which Orange. other colour? Orange, yes. 30 to 40. The logo of which organisation features an acorn and some oak leaves? The National Trust. National Trust, yes. 20 to 30. Which comedian had a top 20 hit in 1984 with Hello, John, Got a New Motor? Alexis Sale. He did indeed. 10 to 20. What in a plant can be cordate, palmate or pinnate? The stem. No, the leaves. Which chain of islands extends along the coasts of the Netherlands, Germany and Denmark? Pass. The Frisian Islands. Which sea was once popularly known as the Spanish Main? Um, Gibraltar Straits. In the Caribbean. Which 19th century surgeon pioneered the use of carbonic acid as an antiseptic? Pasteur. Lister. Which Italian film actress won her only Oscar for two women in 1961? Sophie Loren. She did indeed, under 10%. Which world heavyweight champion was known as the Fighting Marine? Joe Frazier. It times up, I'm afraid. It was Jean Tunney. Very close. You were right there in the under 10 percenters too. It seemed to get very tough at the end there. I know this is, these are genuine because <laughs> we've been asked and we know the percentages, but this time they seem very tough indeed. Oh well, never mind. It doesn't make you feel any better, I'm sure. Salivate. But you'll be back. Yep. Bad luck, Stephen. Don't worry, you will be back to try again on the next show where you'll be joined by three new contestants trying to beat the nation. But before we go, Tim is going to leave us with some more brain-curdling statistics. Indeed, brain-curdling. We asked the nation which pudding is traditionally served with roast beef, and one county will be pleased that 99% of those polled gave the correct answer, Yorkshire. Quite <laughs> right, too. <laughs>